We are marching for International Women's Day. How did you get involved with being an organizer? Well, International Women's Day is something I've been involved with for a long time. Um, it's a day that has a long history of, uh, of activism. And what we wanted to really highlight at the march this year was how women are active not only in women's issues, but really in all the important issues that face our families and our communities. So everything from anti-war struggles uh, to being active in their unions, uh, or just fighting for basic uh, health care, education, all those kinds of things. So that's what we're celebrating and honoring today. How much work goes into organizing something like this? Uh, well, you know, we, we, uh, this is now the fourth year uh, in a row uh, that we've done a march in Edmonton after a long break. <laughs> um, so, you know, we've, we, things pretty, move along pretty smoothly. Um, you know, really it's just putting the call out to different organizations, unions and uh, community activists to uh, mobilize on this day when we have millions of women marching around the world. Uh, and, uh, and then to invite our speakers as well. So we'll be, after the march, we'll be uh, gathering at a hall to hear a number of speakers um, speaking from their unions, uh, also um, highlighting issues uh, affecting uh, First Nations and Aboriginal people. Uh, so since uh, the Idle No More movement has really taken off, we've, we've felt it's important to highlight those concerns as well, including um, the concerns around uh, equal access to education for First Nations and Aboriginal children. Do you feel that an event like this is important in raising awareness of issues pertaining to women? Yeah, definitely. It's it's like I said. It's not just about um, issues affecting women. Um, so you know, we we need to see universal access to childcare. Uh, we need to end the uh, the pay gap. Um, but also to recognize that you know when there are um, services, for example, that are delisted or privatized, that it's often women that pick up the the burden in their community. So uh, so to really see that women's issues are a range of, of things that, anything that affects the well-being of our families and communities, that's where you'll see women active in the struggle. So yeah, it's about raising a wit uh, awareness, it's about celebrating those commitments, and you know, taking to the streets is an important part of this day, uh, to, to have that experience of you know, raising our voices and exercising our democratic right to, to take our concerns into the street. So this is a, a very important day for women. Uh, for over a hundred years, it's a day in which women have expressed their determination um, to fight for their rights, to have those rights actually enshrined um, in law, and not just be, you know, a matter of a policy objective, something that everyone says they agree with, but in fact they have, you know, they don't have uh, um, any reality in. in in, in having a guarantee in the society. So I think that, you know, it's a, it's a good day to reflect on what our slogan, no means no means, because unless our no has meaning, unless we can stop those who are depriving us of power, unless we can say no and it actually, you know, put a stop to those who are depriving people of their rights, who refuse to, to uh, give women all the things which are required in order to end violence against women who are depriving women and men of the right to determine the most basic things about their lives including their wages and their working conditions um, and who are you know responsible for wreaking havoc all over the world wherever people are standing up and wanting to take their own independent path so you know really it's a it's a day when we we remember um, and renew that fight for, for political empowerment, uh, for the right to be the decision makers in our lives, to have control over our lives, and to build the kind of society that, uh, that we aspire to, because a society that looked after the needs of women and children would be a society 
uh, in which the rights of all were upheld. It would be the kind of society that prog progressive humanity aspires to.